we are here people we are here at the beginning of a1a here in i can't say the word fernandina beach florida yeah and so we're excited to be here we kind of drove all day to get here from our hometown it's my birthday today the big 5-0 and so this has always been a big dream of mine is to come down here and I want to drive all the way down A1A. It starts here and goes all the way down to Miami. But uh, we made it here. We're excited. We got the beach right here behind us. We're fixed to go down here and hit the beach. And then we're going to find someplace nice to have a birthday dinner tonight mm -hmm. and figure out where we're staying before we head on down uh, A1A tomorrow. We're going to drive all the way down the coast here. Hopefully bring you some nice shots and some pretty scenery. And then catch Key West the day after. Yeah, we're going to go all the way down to Key West. So we can't wait. Come on, guys. Here we are at the beach. I love the beach, folks. There's no better sound. This is just like my therapy right here. I just wish it was a little bit closer. Every beach we go to is about six to eight hours away from us. But man, I love the beach. <laughs> All right, folks. We just got uh, done eating supper here at Wicked... Wicked... Wicked Bow. Yeah, it came uh, recommended from the hotel we were staying at the little uh, lady that checked us in told us about it uh turns out her boyfriend actually works here in the kitchen <laughs> i think yep but uh it, it's a it's an asian place but it's got a spin on it it's got like a modern twist to it and it is absolutely amazing guys so yes. if you're ever in this area which is we're in amelia island and fernadina beach yeah so this is actually right in the downtown district uh there's a lot of other restaurants in the downtown district this is about a block off of that but uh the owner actually comes up and talks personally to each guest and so if you ever get a chance you check need to come out. up here and check it out yep it's great guys and the mochi for dessert is amazing yes they have uh, uh what was it called the tots? rice rice tots rice tots with chipotle aioli oh it's awesome oh, guys it was amazing yep gotta so, have some yep give it a try <laughs> Wandering hard on a crazy ride An open road and a deep blue sky Feel it calling me like the wind Trust the compass down in my skin Walk straight, stay right That's what they say to me But I don't fit right Inside the lines That is too cool we are in the little town of Mayport, Florida. The sign just says it was established in 1562. Yeah, what was cool was kind of unexpected. We didn't know that we had to take any ferries going down A1A, so we just got off coming across the ferry, but it actually saved, uh, gosh, I don't know how many miles if we'd had to go all the way around to get to a bridge to come across, and so. And we love riding the ferries. Yeah, I love ferries. We went to our Outer Banks trip many years ago, and we rode like, was it four different ferries? Or more. Oh yeah. man, it was like, some. this was like a five minute ferry ride. Some of them in the Outer Banks, one of them was almost two hours. And so, but I love ferries. So another perk of coming down A1A, just jump on the ferry. It was $7 for a car. Uh, we even saw uh, a, a truck pulling an Airstream coming off of it so they can accommodate any size vehicles so don't worry about that if you are happen to be pulling the camper or whatever uh, but again pretty cool there we go. fingers crossed
I was young, my mom told me, son, that soul of yours was born to run. It's your adventure for you to choose, and you'll know home when you'll find your roots. Just remember, don't walk straight, stay right. That's what they say to me, but I don't fit right inside the lines. Oh, oh, oh. Just want to talk to you guys a minute, you know, as we're driving down A1A here. You know, there are, you know, I don't want to be under no illusions that, you know, every single mile on A1A, you're going to see the beach because that's not going to happen. You do go through some residential areas, you go through some towns, so you're going through some commercial areas. When you do go through these little towns, you see, I mean, they're very proud of their towns. And, you know, I've seen just driving down through here, you know, which the little town we just went through had, you know, a big fancy sign as soon as you enter the town, you know, it says historic, scenic, A1A, and, you know, welcome to the town and stuff like that. And so, but I just, you know, want to be honest with you guys, you know, it's not all going to be beautiful beach every mile of A1A, but I still encourage you to do it, you know people when we told people we was going to take a1a all the way down the coast they're like but why you know most people just want to get on the interstate and get there and that's never typically been us uh, one of my other dreams is to go out and start up in Chicago and ride all the way out down route 66 yeah. but I enjoy going through these small towns uh, just like we just went through a residential community here that had some beautiful beautiful homes in it uh, even when we stayed the night last night, had some really nice little beach houses and, you know, they're all painted beach colors and it, it's really cool. And so, you know, I urge, you know, if you've got the time, take the time, get off the interstate, take some of these back roads because it's just really cool some of the things you see. But since we will be doing a video on A1A here, I, you know, I just want to be honest with you guys, and it's not all rosy, you know, like I say, you go through some parts of, that's going to look just like your hometown, you know, where you got your restaurants and your pharmacies and all that, where you're not seeing, you know, beach. Well, and keep in mind too as well, guys, I mean, the people who live here buy that land on the beach to build their great, big, pretty homes, and so a lot of times you're driving past and you really only see their driveways and and their yards um, because they have that beach view but if you just be persistent and keep driving down that road you're going to come to some places where you will be able to see the beach you will have some gorgeous views and it is well worth the extra time that it takes to go off the beaten path yeah and right now we're driving down and it's it's all dunes on the left side over here where the beach is and then it's kind of like some kind of wildlife preserve over here on the right and uh, so you're really not seeing the ocean or the beach per se, but there's a lot of stops along the way here that you can pull over and have beach access. And that's one thing we've noticed this entire trip so far. They have lots of public parking places that you can get beach access to. Uh, but again, it's just really cool. Just want to throw that out there, you know, because I don't want to mislead anybody, you know, just showing you all the beach shots and then you get out here and realize that, hey, wait a minute, you know, we got to go into town and few parts here but uh, again you know take your time take the back roads who knows you might even find the place you want to retire to someday
guys here we are coming through St. Augustine and uh, this is really cool city we've been here many times uh, oldest city in the United States it's one of the first established um, if you are coming through here we did get try to get some shots as we was driving through we didn't stop and walk in this time but we did get some shots of the fort and uh, it is well worth the money I think it's only like four or five bucks a person to get in there and uh, they have people there that will walk you through the history of the fort. We love stuff like that. But it is a blast to see. And you can actually stand on one of the corner turrets of the fort and actually see the lighthouse down here in St. Augustine. And uh, so it's a beautiful fort to visit. And then right across the street from the fort is actually the city gates. And when you go through the city gates, it turns into a pedestrian uh, city. And so they have all these cool little art shops and antique shops. Little restaurants and restaurants, snacks. Yeah. And I mean, they got some just really, really neat stuff in there. So my advice to you, if you're going to be here, parking is not great in St. Mm -hmm. Augustine. It is hard to find parking. True. It is hard to find um, hotels and stuff here in St. Augustine that are, that are nice. on the water and, you know, up to that. Because it is an old city. Mm -hmm. So you just got to understand that's part of it. But my advice, if you're just coming to spend the day, go to the fort, you pay by the plate, and once you pay to pay to park there, you can park there all day long, mm -hmm. and everything else you want to do from there walk. is within walking distance. You literally walk across the street, get into the old part of St. Augustine, that's where they've got the oldest schoolhouse, like uh, everything else. If you wanted to, there is the, uh, the first jail in the United States in St. Augustine. There is Old Town Tours. And uh, there's another tour company that does tours too. It's Red something. I don't remember what it is. But you see them in all the major old cities like that. So if you don't want to walk down to the jail and to the Fountain of Youth and all that, because it is on the other end of town. Now, it's only about a mile. We've walked it yeah. uh, instead of doing the tours. But the tours are a great thing also because they give you a lot of information. We just passed the lighthouse, so the lighthouse is a really interesting place to go take a look at things, climb up to the top, check out their gift shop there. They've got some really neat things there. We're also just passing uh, the alligator farm. It's a zoological park. That's a nice little attraction. Um, there's lots to do here. But anyways, that, that's our two cents worth. That's our little uh, tip for St. Augustine. Uh, go to the fort, park at the fort either get on the trolleys or the the tours or walk to everything else from there so you don't have to deal with parking and paying for parking every time you go somewhere else and while you're in st augustine make sure you get a popsicle over at hippos they're yes, great they're awesome <laughs> yeah it's your adventure for you to choose and you'll know home when you'll find your roots just remember don't walk straight stay right that's what they say to me but i everybody here we are day three we are we finally made it all the way down to the tip of Florida yep. uh, so we finished our A1A it was late last night should have recorded last night but it got really dark on us really late by the time we got down to the end we were ready for bed <laughs> yeah we was pretty tuckered out that was a long drive um, my advice is take the time to do it in two days yes. uh, just unfortunately with we our time schedule, days, yeah. again, yeah, we're meeting people, we're meeting some friends down here in Marathon. We didn't have the time to take the extra day, and so um, there at the end, we, it got dark on us, so we didn't get a lot of footage on that. But it's still a great drive, and we loved it and enjoyed it. Now we are on US-1 here in Key 
Largo. We are just about to cross over the water um, from, we, we came through Homestead and Florida City. We're about to cross over the water into Key Largo. And so we're fixing to start our trek down the Keys here. We're going to go all the way down to the southernmost point and then come back up and make some friends for supper later tonight and have some fun. Yep. We're excited. We're going to meet up with Gables on the go and uh, finally get to meet some fellow YouTubers. We're excited to meet them. Can't wait. And we can the fellow. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks. Now there's sand all in the thing. It recorded it. A wandering heart on a crazy ride. An open road and a deep blue sky. Feel it calling me like the wind. Trust the compass down in my skin.